What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. And I'm doing a video just about love and fear, lies and truth. You know, and I guess what has been making sense for me along the mission that I'm on is that, like, how it makes you feel. You know, like, if something is really negative, toxic, evil, you know, manipulative, narcissistic, something that's really just like the bottom of a garbage can type of stuff probably is one of those words, you know, gaslighting, narcissism, manipulation, a toxic whatever encounter, you know, like all of that in one, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you know, it's just going to be smooth sailing, but there's those kind of people in the world. And, like, for me personally, I'm overcoming being in a, a relationship, you know, for one, for about one year, you know, with an African woman. You know, y'all know her. Y'all see her. Well, honestly, y'all probably don't know her, to be real with y'all. Some might, you know, probably only very few people may know her. I don't even know, to be honest. The right people maybe know her. She's in, like, a couple of the videos. But it's just, like, you know, some of the things didn't add up because I don't know what to expect. You know, it happened my first relationship long, or relationship that lasted that long ever. It was my first time, you know. And, like, to be honest, love is when y'all both support each other. And I noticed in times when it was hard times, sometimes we want to turn in on each other. And it's like World War Six, you know, an egotistical battle, you know, and that doesn't work at all because it's talking about money, talking about skin color, talking about, you know, imperf- uh, in, you know, imperfections like flaws and insecurities and talking about material stuff and everything and it's like fighting fire with fire and it's really ugly to be honest and it's not cool at all and i just call that a lie and i call that fear to be honest with y'all like i'm at a point i'm at a space in my life where i'm alone having space from it healing whatever you know what i mean nobody's better than nobody you know at all because anything any smack that you want to talk about your so-called ex or person you're having space from that you have been intimately connected with for a long period of time that doesn't just disappear overnight or ever, you know, like any type of smack you want to talk is honestly a lie. And that shows that you're beneath someone, you know, and that's something that I'm overcoming and learning because for me, I got into the relationship, you know, it's great, it's fireworks, you know, we're both meeting each other how we are, you know, it's a young man and a young woman, you know, with not much at all, both of us were taking the streets and the buses and the trains, and then guess what, we grew and we chose to move out and live together in the same apartment, so that's what we did, and There is an even closer, more real experience, you know. So, there was a lot of ups and downs because we're able to see each other, you know, in our most vulnerable states, you know, intimacy, love making, romance, all that stuff. And that happens, you know, as you get close, they say to really know someone, you have to live with them, you know, that's true. So, we did that. It was great moments, great loving memories, you know, of us walking, taking a bus, taking the train, of us saving up and getting a car, this car, you know, of all these different things, of romantic evenings and outings, going different places to different restaurants and stores and, you know, traveling around the city a bit, you know what I'm saying? As well as, you know, nights that sucked, hard nights, nights where we're screaming at each other, you know, trying to separate each other, trying to put each other down, you know, and it's like this 
no, there's no control. That's what I'm saying. That's the biggest thing I love. Nobody can control anybody, you know, at all. And that's not an attractive quality to have if you are controlling. That's just the truth. I'm uncontrollable. So I'm here now. I'll wrap up with some concluding thoughts. It's Eternal Authenticity Broadcasting Live. Peace.